Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com. In this video, we're going to have a quick look at the new Plex app for the Xbox One. So, Plex is the first third party media app that's been available for the Xbox One, and I've got Plex server running on my Vidabox Live NAS server. So, we're going to have a look at the Xbox One client. So, here's the Plex app running on my Xbox One. So it's connected to my Vidabox uh, Live NAS server, which from that I've been using that to stream videos and movies and music to my Surface, Windows Phone, Android Phone and iPad. So here you can see some movies that uh, have been copied over to the NAS server, the Vidabox server. Um, and you can see we've got categories across here at the top, so uh, say I go to the Senna movie. So this Senna movie is a Blu-ray. Uh, using the server, now server, the live now server, I put the Blu-ray straight in. It copies it over, indexes it, it creates all the metadata, everything else, and then um, it's available to watch. Then, so one thing I did do as well is set on on the VideoBox server, I set it to automatically create an MP4 version of my uh, movie collection. So you put the disc in, it copies the disc over and makes the MP4. That's the important part, you need that bit working for Plex to be able to then stream it. Then all you do is install Plex server and it's ready to go. So I can then watch this movie here. So that's the, uh, the MP4 version of the Blu-ray streaming from my Xbox One. So that other video was actually 480p. This is a 1080p with 5.1 surround sound, so it's detected that, the uh, Plex has detected that, and said so this is an MP4 version that my server has sorted out for me. So I'm gonna play this now. I've already been testing this, so you can see, and it's gonna ask me whether I wanna carry on, or I'll play from the beginning, so I'll carry on. And that's what I really like about the Plex app, is previously on the Xbox One, playing your own content was virtually impossible. The Media Player app beta allowed you to stream from a DLNA server. They had none of this clever resume and things like that. So the Xbox One Media Player app w did work over DLNA but nothing like this. This is much better than DLNA because it's actually um, it's got a full user interface as you'd expect. So the Xbox Media app is okay or the Xbox video app is okay if you get content from Microsoft but if you want content of your own, your own content which is exactly what I have on my video box server then this is what is what you're going to want. So you can see here it's actually showing um, well this is for example this is a DVD that's been copied over and it's showing where um, I've, I've watched of all these different movies, so it's a really nice idea. If you used to Netflix of just remembering where you're up to, then this is exactly what you want. So up here you can pick which server you want to use for if you've got multiple Plex servers. Uh, I haven't, I've just got the one, so it detected it automatically. So to get this, you need to have the latest Plex server 4.9.1 uh, or something, I can't remember it off the top of my head. You'll probably change by the time you're watching the video. But what it currently you have to be a Plex Pass subscriber and you get that from the Plex Pass download page. So if you're setting this up, you need to be a Plex Pass subscriber uh, and then you need to go and download the version from the, the subscribers page and then the app will install when you sign in. You sign in with your Plex ID and then it detects the server. If you just load the app and you're a Plex Pass subscriber but haven't got this appropriate uh, server then it won't work. So you can switch the user as well so if you've got um, different user profiles set up so you might have different family members with their own media uh, their own Plex server with media on then you can switch between the different users as well. So as you can see with this really the, the combination of Plex server running on my Vidabox server and the automated uh, movie archiving and creating the mp4 file and then coming here with the Plex uh, app here on the Xbox One makes a brilliant combination because it really makes it usable you can just come in watch it carry where you left off it syncs with the Windows Phone the Android and the, the other versions of it as well to sort of watch movies that kind of thing it also would work great if you uh, download movie collection from other sources other than uh, DVDs or Blu-rays that you've got copies of. As long as the uh, files are available on your server, then this will then see the, the those files and do the indexing and everything else. So really, if you if you want to get uh, 
your own content on the Xbox One, this is definitely the best way of doing it. So like I said, there are a few things you need. You need a Plex server up and running, and there are versions for Linux as well as for Windows. You need uh, Plex Pass and uh, an Xbox One. There's also an Xbox 360, I guess so that's going to look very similar to this. But the nice thing is as well, this is now all integrated across all my devices, so I can start watching it on one device, go to another device and so on. It's all really well integrated together. So that's Plex on the Xbox One, uh, really from my Vidabox server. Thanks for watching this video, I'm going to spend more time with this and maybe we'll do something later. Bye.